Today's July 29th, 2021. I'm going to take you through our workout. Today is all about recovery. So we're just trying to go through some range of motion, uh, increase your heart rate, uh, break a sweat, but then we're going to also uh, focus on good movement and just uh, stretching. So to get warmed up, we're going to go through a few sets. We're going to do one minute, minute of cardio. Now today's workout, we're using calories. You have two minutes on the clock in the Metcon to do as many calories as possible. This isn't really a max effort thing. Uh, this is really just, again, break a sweat, get, some, get your heart rate up. So bike, row, skier, if you don't have any of that equipment, we can go ahead and go for a run um, for cardio. Then we're gonna do 10 Samson lunges. So you're going to, oh, I'm sorry, you're gonna lunge forward and then reach over, step back, lunge forward, reach over. That back knee that's down, you're gonna take that hand and you're gonna raise over. You should feel a stretch um, on your, in your body. Then we're gonna do inchworms into a push-up. As we know, we do push-up, inch our feet up walk our hands forward okay uh, then we have 10 bird dogs so you're in your all fours you're gonna go extend one leg bring your leg back extend one leg and arm and bring it back and then we have five and five Cossack squats so wide stance you're gonna squat side to side feeling a stretch so we'll do about two to three sets maybe four sets uh, with a 10 minute cap so for our workout today, we have uh, calories again, like we said before, check your piece of equipment. Uh, we're gonna have a five minute clock, so you have two minutes of that. The next minute, you're gonna do a front rack hold. You can do this with kettlebells or dumbbells. So you take the dumbbells, hold them on your front rack position, and you're going to take a look at the clock and watch for about a minute. Now with the kettlebell, it's very easy to take the kettlebell and just pop it on your shoulder. Whoa, not like that. Okay, and just let it rest here. That's really not the point. You want to get into a good grip, so hold on, hold that kettlebell on the palm of your hand, hold it close to your chest, and you're holding it here. Okay, elbow should be tucked out in front. All right, kettlebell should be resting on your shoulder. All right, and you should be gripping the kettlebell. And that's going to be hopefully with two kettlebells. But if that's really, really awkward for you, just go with the dumbbells. All right, and the same thing with the dumbbells. I guess I'll see some of us like to do this, or just let it go like this. Okay, we want to get into a good front rack hold. Challenge yourself. Then we have a single uh, dumbbell suitcase split squat. So, what we're gonna do is you're going to have the dumbbell at your side, you're gonna hold our foot onto a box, and you're gonna squat down and up. All right, so if you're, whatever leg's working, meaning squatting, you're gonna hold it in that arm with the dumbbell, Okay, then you're just gonna go from here, you're gonna squat, you're gonna stand up. All right. So that's gonna be two minutes of calories, one minute of, of the front rack hold, and then the next, um, the rest of the time you're doing eight single uh, suitcase squats. Just make, make sure you move really well with good form. And then after that, you're gonna walk for recovery. So now walking and recovery, you're just gonna walk around the gym or within your space. You're focusing on breathing in throughout your nose. You're getting ready to get back on the cardio. All right, then we have our stretching. Okay, so for recovery, you're gonna do two minutes at different poses, a little yoga for you. Straddle pose. You could watch Tina at the gym. She could literally lay her, her belly all the way down to the ground. I'm not that flexible. So you're gonna get into a split from here as wide as you can. And you're gonna to try to reach as far as you can. Now some of us, okay, that are really flexible can get our chest all the way to the ground. Others, this is all we got, all right? So that's gonna be two minutes of that hold. Then you do a forward fold. So you're gonna have a soft knee bend. You're gonna let your body relax. You can even cradle, rock back and forth if you want, but we're gonna hold this fold position. And we don't wanna keep our legs locked out. We're really trying to just lengthen the lower back. Okay, round it all the way out. Kinda of, uh, decompress the spine a little bit. And then the Olympic wall squat. So essentially what you're doing is a, uh, you're gonna lay down on your back against the wall. Try to get your hips as close as possible. Then you get it to a little bit of a squat. And then from here, you're just trying to pull your knees out and just get into a stretch position, we'll stretch all this out. Okay, we did a lot of squats, we did a lot of deadlifts this week. I don't wanna get up. Um, so the straddle pose, the forward fold, and this squat's really gonna open up your hips and your legs, all right, and get you, uh, get you uh, prepared for the next few days when we beat you up, all right? So this is a recovery day. All right, make sure you get in the gym and do this one.
All right, and if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. So make sure you, I mean, I'm not really a score on this one, uh, but you can post whatever you want on Sugarwad. All right, let me know how you did. Have a good workout.